Hey folks, in this video I'm going to show you how you can interact with the Hyperledger Basu client inside a Docker environment. So in the previous video you would have seen that we had Basu up and running by running the Docker run Hyperledger Basu command here and if I hit enter again you'll see it kick into life connecting to Ethereum mainnet. So in the previous video I showed you how you can check the Basu network that it's connected to using a curl command. So if I open up a new terminal here and I copy this curl command here it is quite long so you don't really want to type it. You can see it does a post using the net version method on the default host 8545. So if I, if I hit enter here, you'll see there's an error saying it's failed to connect. That is because inside Docker, we need to actually explicitly state the port as well as turn on the RPC. So if I go ahead and do RPC HTTP enabled, just like what I showed in previous videos and hit enter, this means I'm starting out Basu with the RPC enabled here. And if I rerun this command, I'm still going to get the same error. That is because inside Docker, I actually have to explicitly open up the port. So if I go back to the documentation here, you'll see that, again, running Hyperledger Basu from a Docker image. Down below, there's a section on exposing ports. So I need to go ahead and expose the local port JSON RPC. So I need to put a flag of P and then specify just like the example down here, 8545, 8545. So it's not just enough just to enable the flag, but I've got to specify the actual port itself. So let's go back here and let's go dash P space 8545 colon 8545. Hit enter. So Basu is going to kick back into life within my Docker image. And now, if I go ahead and run this kill command, this should work, fingers crossed. And there we have it. We have a successful result returned, telling us that the chain ID is one which is Ethereum mainnet. And that is how you can interact with Basu in a Docker environment.